Check it out. Today we're doing a greenhouse tour of a passive solar greenhouse. Let's go in. And we're underground in a passive solar greenhouse. One of the problems that greenhouses typically have is they're either too hot during the day and too cold during the night or too hot in the summer and too cold during the winter. A passive solar greenhouse fixes a lot of those problems. And I'm gonna so show you how this greenhouse does it. This greenhouse has been operating for over 10 years. This can be used in the winter and it also can be used in the summer for those really heat tolerant plants. We are underground about four feet. See if you can figure out what used to be in here before it got turned into a greenhouse. Figure it out before the end of the video, then I'll tell you. Now the first thing you'll notice is that they took the existing structure and poured concrete forms down the entirety of this greenhouse. Every inch of concrete in here increases the storage capacity for heat. This is the first layer of thermal battery installed. Underneath this beautiful topsoil, there's about two feet of rocks and different concrete pieces, and those act not only as good drainage, but they act as a really good thermal battery as well for storing that heat to slowly be dissipated throughout the night and the winter. This greenhouse has two layers of plastic. Having two layers of plastic significantly increases the amount of insulation that we have, while still allowing the sun to still penetrate and come in. One of the challenges with having two layers of plastic on a greenhouse is having those layers stuck together. Now, if they stick together, then you're effectively losing a, a lot of that insulating value. What this greenhouse does, it pumps air into one of these holes, it inflates it. This is used just with a small fan. It can also get rolled up in the summer if it is getting too hot. This is often rolled up for about two months a year, July and August around here. Here you can see these tubes. Now these tubes are one of the most interesting feature of this greenhouse. Hot air in a greenhouse typically rises up to the top and people just vent that hot air out. Now what this greenhouse does is something a little different. Instead of just getting rid of that hot air, there's a fan at the top of this greenhouse that takes all that hot air, it pumps it down these tubes and into the ground, and those rocks will absorb and soak up a lot of that heat energy and then it will slowly be released. There are three pipes here. We got two on this side and one on this side. That helps carry the heat to different parts of the greenhouse. This greenhouse operates on a thermostat, but I've also seen them set up with solar sensors. Most greenhouses have plastic on all the walls. The sun typically doesn't get shone through every single wall. A number of these walls could be insulated. And on this side, and that side don't get any sunlight on that side any time of the year so those walls are just normal walls and there's often hay on the other side that also acts as an insulating barrier this is an insulated covering used often in the springtime to put seedlings and saplings underneath this comes down at nighttime to help preserve even more of that heat underneath so that the seedlings don't get shocked with the cold night some other interesting features in this greenhouse include a mirror to help reflect the sunlight, drip irrigation to automatically water this, and an open invitation to wasps to help as a natural pest control. If you want to see more garden tours like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and happy gardening. Did you figure out what used to be in here? You may have got a hint from this green wall. A pool used to be in here. That's right, they turned an old pool into a very functioning, practical, and highly productive passive solar greenhouse. She's noisy! Very high-tech latch.